How's it going? I'm here at the Hopi Travel Plaza in Holbrook, Arizona, talking to these dinosaurs about how to market online. They're like, what? <laughs> anyway, this does remind me, though, of a lot of the things I see online. A lot of the crap that's being put out nowadays by wannabe gurus and other people that, re re not reply, but they repeat what the gurus say I have no no idea what they're talking about it's just that there's this guy on the internet who says he made a bunch of money says this so I should say the same thing and then I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about but really it makes them sound like they haven't a clue which is true and they're gonna get eaten alive like I'm about to get eaten by this guy <laughs> because even though there are 10,000 or 40,000 or whatever it is, people a week going online to attempt to find a way to supplement their income or if they're good enough to replace their income with their own home-based business, still, there are not enough people out there that will continue that you can make a, a business out of that. At least not from my point of view, if you want to be doing something that's actually worthwhile because you actually can that's why spam is still around you actually can fool enough of the people enough of the time to bring in a lot of money I almost made the mistake of saying earn a good living but that's not earning a living if you're selling garbage to somebody who doesn't know any better just because you're one page further ahead of them in the book you're a thief <laughs> you're a con man if if you believe in something and you're telling somebody this and and you sell it to them with and you're confident that you're giving them good information that's a different story even though you're wrong i'm talking about the people that absolutely know better they know that what they're pushing is not going to work they know that the average person is not going to be able to follow through on a step-by-step -step plan and actually achieve what the seller of the product claims they can that's when you've stepped off into the dark ages that's when you're one of these dinosaurs back here still still peddling the stuff like on the wizard of oz there's the guy i forget the guy's name but anyway dorothy meets him he's a tinkerer a potter and he sells snake oil on the side of the road and she meets him on her on her travels that's how these guys are they're still selling snake oil they're still trying to rip people off and the FDA they are not FDA well I guess the FDA is involved with some of it but the FTC they attempt to regulate this and yet there's the caveat emptor you know let the buyer beware and there's things that they don't understand but what they do understand is making a claim that is just BS now I like it to be completely wide open, but the more you learn about how this stuff works, the more you know about marketing and sales, and you understand how a con man actually pulls off his cons, and the only difference at the highest levels are the ethics of the person that's doing the selling. Because if you have no ethics and you don't care what you do to extract money from someone's wallet then you can become a con man very easily however if you are a reputable salesperson and you're not selling junk and you understand that someone's gonna have to work at it and of course not everybody's gonna succeed if you understand all that and you're telling the truth and or at least the truth the best you know it and you're dealing with products that are reputable then you got nothing to worry about you will sleep like a baby and you'll feel good like you actually did add something to the planet on your time here instead of just hey I'm a leader I make a bunch of money and you either a don't know how you do it or B you know how you did it and you don't want to tell your grandma <laughs> so there it is I'm here with the dinosaurs talking to you about why you should not be one and especially when it comes to network marketing you don't want to do it the dinosaur way because 
it will end up with your bones bleached in the desert. Unlike these guys who seem to have found the fountain of youth and will probably be here for another hundred years. That's all I got for today. Hey, if you want some more good information, head over to marketingyabber.com. It's a brand new forum. We're looking for marketers just like you to add to the conversation. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm out. Bye, guys.